Welcome to a webinar uh, from Weld about A-B testing. My name is Tom Sodland. I'm the CEO of Weld. Usually I have my uh, colleague Selma with me, but she couldn't be here today for... She's almost here. What's going on, Selma? My head is here. Okay, that's but important. Something happened with my body. Okay, good your head is here. That's the important part. Yes. So we're going to talk about A-B testing uh, in web campaigns today. It's a very special episode. It's our third episode of the so-called Weld Content Academy. But we also have a guest star with us uh, who's going to... Uh, we have a recorded message from him. Uh, we're going to tell you more about it in a, in a short while. So let me just uh, start the presentation. Maybe I should present, uh, present myself as well. Uh, my name is Salma. Oh, hello there. <laughs> and uh, I've been, I'm a colleague to Tom. Yes. So today we're going to talk about A-B testing, as Tom said before. And we're live on YouTube, so if you have any questions, just write in the comments. And uh, if you have any questions after the webinar, just write to us at Selma at Weld.io or Tom at Weld.io. Yes. Yeah, and what is Weld? Weld is a web designing tool for marketers and e-commerce managers. And the benefits of using Weld is you can work more in-house, create interactive and graphic content, where you usually uh, need help from IT or a web agency. And web is also user-friendly, as you can see. So we created well just as like PowerPoint or Keynotes where everything is drag and drop and free templates. And well also integrates in all platforms or CMS. Yeah, like so. WordPress or App Server yeah. or exactly. any web platform. Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, A-B testing. And this is part of uh, what we call Well Content Academy. We're going to explain more about that. Uh, but uh, this is the third episode of the Well Content Academy. And if you have anything you want us to talk about in the common, in like the common videos for like two weeks or anything, just write to us and we will make a video about it. Yeah. Uh, and A-B testing seems like to, to be a hot topic. Uh, I think yeah. we have a massive uh, uh, number of signups for this webinar. Yeah. So people are really excited. I think part of that is that we have a guest star with us. Uh, John Ekman, uh, founder of Conversionista and one of the gurus on A-B testing and, For sure. and conversion rate optimization in, in Sweden at least, uh, will be appearing on the, on the show. Uh, we're going to wrap up the show with a short demo on how you A-B test in yeah. Weld. We're also going to talk about other tools for A-B testing, um, where, but we're going to also explain how you do it in Weld. So, yeah. Weld Content Academy. Yeah. Uh, we started this like... Uh, a couple of months ago, right? Yeah, it was just an idea that came to our mind. Yeah, and we've done an episode on SEO, yeah, search engine optimization. Um, Videos in web campaigns. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, but this is the third episode, and we usually say that you need two things for for success. And what are those? Uh, traffic and convers uh, conversion. Yeah, and so that is like. It well, was success. Yeah, and traffic yeah. is like bringing people to your website. And yeah. conversion is what happens when they are on your website. How many turn into paying customers or uh, download your ebook or uh, whatever you want them to convert into. And uh, in which category do you think um, uh, A-B testing falls into? It falls in conversion. Correct, yes. This is all about conversion. Uh, so that's the focus for today. So what is A-B testing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's also called split testing, um, and it means that you create two versions, at least two versions of a campaign, and you compare them side by side. Uh, you, you run them uh, one one campaign against one target group and uh, another campaign against another selected group, and you evaluate the results. Um, the the term A B uh, comes from that you have an variant A and a variant B that you run against each other. You can also have more variants than just two, uh, and it's usually called multivariate testing, uh, especially if you have multiple tests happening in parallel. Let's say you test uh, both the copywriting 
and the color of your uh, sign up button at the same time that's multivariate testing exactly that's much more complex uh, but it, it can be done yeah uh, this is all part of conversion as said also I just want to mention the term you probably heard this before but CRO conversion re rate optimization that's sort of how you work to improve your conversion uh, and in short yeah you create multiple versions uh, of content and you let them run during the same time period and you va evaluate which one performs the best and there's a number of things you can test, of course. You can test uh, the copywriting on your site, which usually is very have a, a big impact, like the exact uh, phrasing of text on a, on a button or, yeah. or in, a, in a text. You can send like an emoji without an emoji and test that. Exactly. Um, it, can, it can be the photos of your, of your website. It can be the design. Small things like the color of a, of a, of a sign-up button can have a big effect and so on. Um, the font size, how it appears on uh, a phone versus a larger screen, etc. So many factors that you can test. And the benefit of A-B testing is that uh, you can try things and evaluate and see what works. Yeah. Um, and to explain how you do A-B testing in the most uh, effective way, uh, we have a guest uh, star, uh, that's John Ekman from Conversionista. Uh, John founded Conversionista uh, a couple of years back and it quickly grew to become the leading um, uh, conversion rate optimization agency in Sweden and recently they were acquired by uh, Curamando which is another agency focusing on digital strategy. Exactly. So we asked John to contribute with his thoughts on, on how to make uh, um, A-B testing that makes an impact yeah. and um, here's his uh, contribution. Yeah. Hey, this is John Ekman of Conversionista. I've been asked by Tom to contribute in today's presentation, so here's a little piece for me. I'm going to be talking about a process for A-B testing. Uh, a lot of people, they go into A-B testing and they start doing something we call shotgun testing, which is a little bit, you try a little bit, a bit of that, a little bit of that, uh, see, throw something against the wall, see if it sticks. So even if you have the right people, the right competences, the right tools, you still might screw up because you don't have the right process in place. And this process we call double loop testing. So let's take a little bit uh, of a look into this. Um, uh, so a lot of people, they start out with shotgun testing and then they want to accelerate their testing. So they invest in what we call testing velocity. They bring up the speed in their testing, but this often leads to what we call alibi testing. So you go through the motions of doing testing but you still don't see the results because it becomes a well-oiled machinery for garbage in, garbage out, unfortunately. So instead, some people then choose to invest in, in a win rate. Win rate is increasing the quality in the hypothesis that you do so that more of your experiments can produce winners. Now, if you go all in on this approach, then you get what we call one-hit wonders. So, you get a small team, you get a couple of people that can produce really good results, but you have problems in scaling it. So that's why you need to invest in what we call double loop testing, which is investing actually in both these two dimensions. Uh, because the two other approaches, they will lead to what we call the testing blues, unfortunately. And the testing blues, it, you will feel that you have it when people are starting to say, you know, I don't think A-B testing is for us. Maybe this is not the right thing for this company. It might work for the other companies, but it doesn't work for our company. And the double loop testing, it goes, I'm going to show you a little bit about the maths behind this. Because if you have three cases, uh, you have the, the beginner, you have the average Joe, and you have the stellar uh, conversion specialist. And they can produce a, a hypothesis with different powers. So one of them is better than the other one. Now, uh, what happens when you have a limited traffic, you can see that the numbers that I based the ex example on here at the bottom. Uh, when you have limited traffic, then the number of tests you can do uh, during a year uh, is limited. And the weaker your hypothesis is, the lower your uplift, the longer the test would take to perform. So you can see, uh, for example, in this graph, you can see that um, the beginner can do three tests per year with an average uplift of five. And if you go all the way to the stellar, that 
has a 20% uplift, he can do, or she, uh, 40 tests per year. Now, the thing, the compound effect of this is that if you do more tests, with, and, and each of the tests also have a higher uplift, if you put these on top of each other, you can see the incredible gain that you get from doing better tests at a higher speed. So that's why you need to invest in what we call the double loop testing. The double loop testing goes like this. You have the upper circle, which is by qualifying your hypothesis through data and, 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 and a prioritization loop uh, that feeds the machinery, which is the lower loop, uh, where you design, develop, deploy, monitor, and follow up your test. So in a, on a monthly, bi-monthly, quarterly basis, you need to reprioritize your testing backlog in the upper loop. And then you need an execution machinery at the bottom to, to, um, to execute these tests. Now, this is what we call double loop testing. So you need a process, you need a method. Even if you got the tools, you got the competencies uh, in-house, you might still be failing because you invested too much in either of the directions of increasing your velocity or increasing your win rate, but you actually need to work with both. Hence, double. So good luck, everybody, and have a great time at the rest of this uh, of today's session. Bye. Thank you, John. That was really insightful. Uh, yeah. I mean, he really knows his stuff, and Conversionista is one of the best agencies in, in Sweden on how to do A-B testing. Hey, the tribute for A-B testing. Oops, sorry for that. Uh, a lot of people, they go into That's A-B what testing when we're and live. start doing something we call it. Yeah, that was not intentional. Yeah. And but now, uh, Tom is going to show you how to A-B test in well, yeah, uh, not quite yet. Actually, okay. we have <laughs> we have a, new, a few more slides I inserted yeah. just a few minutes before we started. Um, so uh, we're going to talk about tools for A/B testing. Yeah. Uh, so there's a number of ways you can perform A/B tests on your website. You can do it with code if you want, but there's a number of clever tools on the market that can help you uh, do um, A/B testing. Uh, one of the first tools that came was Optimizely. Uh, it came um, almost 10 years ago, uh, and it sort of created this, this market for A-B testing, really. Um, were really, they, they, they were the, the first uh, big company to do this. Um, and it sort of established itself as the market leader in space. Uh, but recently, they have also become really pricey. Uh, they've uh, gone for the enterprise market and stopped offering solutions for smaller companies and, and uh, e-commerce uh, re uh, retailers. So uh, it's quite expensive to work with uh, Optimizely these days, unfortunately. It's a good tool, but uh, very pricey. Uh, on the other spectrum, you have free tools like Google Optimize 360. So they provide a totally free tool, um, which is very powerful as well. Um, and then you have like a couple of tools in between. You have a Swedish company called SiteGainer uh, that I haven't tried the product myself, but I heard it's really good. And I've seen they, they grow quickly. So I, I think there are, you're going to see and hear more about them. Uh, also, you have a company called Visual Website Optimizer, uh, also very, often um, shortened down to VWO. Uh, they sort of took the space that Optimizer left, creating um, a product for smaller companies that want to do A-B testing. Yeah. So these are all great tools if you want to do um, A-B testing on your existing website. If you are using Weld, you can do A-B testing right in Weld as well. Um, I would say that these tools that I showed you are, are uh, powerful, they have more features. Uh, but since A-B testing is integrated in, in, in Weld, it's very easy for a content creator to just enable A-B testing, maybe taking so the step of sort of going from being an active content creator to actually testing and analyzing your content is a very small step. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to show you how that works. So I'm not going to do a full tour of what Weld is about and how it works, but I can show you the, the very brief introduction. So think of Weld as PowerPoint for, uh, for the web. And you create content here that you then can embed into your normal website on WordPress, uh, Episerver, SAP, Salesforce, whatever platform you're using. And um, 
like PowerPoint, you have a canvas that you can draw upon, this white box in the background. Up here, you have a toolbar where you can create text fields or text uh, objects, uh, images, um, and rectangles, uh, and all sorts of objects like YouTube players, buttons, forms, etc. Um, and on the uh, right side, you have um, a formatting bar where you can change fonts and colors and shadows and rounded corners and all that. And on the left side, you have the screens or pages in, in your project. And uh, these pages can be used uh, as slides in a PowerPoint presentation. You can link between slides or pages and uh, uh, have deeper content in that sense. But you can also use uh, the pages for two other uh, purposes. One is scheduling of content. Yeah. Uh, so you can have uh, set that one page could, should go live on Monday, another one should go live on Tuesday and, and so on. We have a couple of customers that have been running their advent calendar a few years yeah. uh, with this feature. So they don't have to click that the website should go live on Christmas Day. Mm, very convenient, right? Yeah. Uh, but the third way you can use these pages is A-B testing. So let's say we have this uh, uh, campaign here. Um, th imagine this as maybe the hero block on the landing page, on the start page of, of a fashion uh, retailer. Uh, and you have a number of products that you, uh, you want to showcase. It looks like this on, on your desktop and it looks like this on a phone. Uh, and that's all nice, uh, but you want to now try what would happen if all the all the um, the buttons were green. Yeah. Um, so what I can do then, basically, I created already a variant A, uh, and I can duplicate this variant uh, and call it variant B. And I could, of course, make a variant C and variant D if I wanted to. But for for simplicity, I'll just use two versions, yeah. two variants. So I go to variant B, and here I can then select the three buttons and make them green. I'll fix the text color as well. I don't really like the contrast here, so that's better. So uh, you have variant B with green buttons, and you have variant um, a with black buttons, right? Um, and I can look how this works in mobile as well. As you can see, the colors um, um, are green in the um, in the phone layout as well because the uh, the responsive system in well works like that. Uh, you don't have to sort of they're linked together basically the desktop and phone layout. Um, and so if I now want to start an A-B test on this, uh, I'll click on the publish screen, uh, publish button. The publish button is normally where you uh, embed the, the content on your website, normal website and so on. But on this screen, on this dialog, you also, ha also have the analytics section. And we use uh, Google Analytics as our underlying database for, uh, for analytics and A-B testing. Yeah. Um, and uh, Every page view or content view is recorded to Google Analytics. Also, every button press or if you um, select a text field or anything like that, all those kind of events are sent to Google Analytics. Um, so you can use, you can get a very um, basic uh, visitor graph inside of Weld, but then you can go to your Google Analytics account and uh, really uh, drill down into the data. And on this uh, dialog, on the analytics tab, I have a sub tab called AB test. Um, and here I have um, the, uh, the two screens, variant A and B. And to start the, the AB test, I need to enable this uh, toggle switch, mm -hmm. but uh, I also need to decide what is a conversion for me. Uh, and this could be like clicking a link or clicking a button or something like that. Normally you have, since Weld, you don't build a complete website in Weld, you build blocks that you embed into uh, your website. So normally a conversion event would be uh, clicking a button that takes you to a product page, for instance. Yeah. 
So in this uh, view, I can just select which button I want to uh, uh, have as my conversion object. Um, since I duplicated them, they have the same names here. I can also select with this arrow, I can click on a button and select it like that. So that becomes um, the um, uh, conversion uh, event. When this uh, content is shown, users will see it and click on, on buttons. Uh, whenever they click on this button, it will be recorded as a conversion. And after a while, you'll see, since this, uh, uh, we, just, uh, we haven't gone live with this yet, you, you can't see any conversion statistics, but you will see a percentage of how many that have seen this content and how many has clicked on it. Like 100% would be, mean that everybody that's seen it had clicked on the button. Um, so, um, well doesn't automatically optimize your content, at least not yet. That might, might happen in the future, but it will give you the st statistics on like, which content is performing the best. Mm -hmm. And since it's integrated with the rest of the, of the content creation tool, it's very convenient, very easy to get started with. And that's what I plan to show you about Weld. So uh, to conclude, um, you want to wrap up? Yeah, conclude. Uh, if you have any more questions, just write to us, Salma at Weld.io or Tom at Weld.io. No question is dumb. So Exactly. Yeah, and if you have any subject or thought that you want us to bring up, yeah. just write to us. And you can go to uh, well.io. You can try uh, the tool for free for two weeks if you want. You'll find also plenty of other videos, uh, including the two other videos we've done in the Weld Content Academy. Yeah. So you can have a look at those and, and get inspired and learn more about search engine optimization and other topics. Yeah. And we hope to see you soon in another webinar. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>